it's going to be sticking out, right? All right, so we are just out here putting on the most basic, simple DIY cable railing. Which side is prettier? 34 and a half, right? All right, the idea here is to come down through the deck boards to a place where you can lock the dang post in. So this is our framing down below. We got there, on this side, there's a big six by six and over here, there's a ledger. So that way we are bolting into both. And then as for the height of the posts, check with your code officer. Your inspector is going to tell you how high they want the railing. So I'm going to give you the exact number. It sort of depends on what kind of residence you have and how high your deck is and all that stuff. But basically, whatever your height is, just subtract whatever the thickness of your hand railing is going to be. In our case, we're doing just a straight up two by six. So it's inch and a half. So the height of the railing minus inch and a half is how much these guys protrude above the deck boards. Use your socket set for this. Best way to do it. So underneath, locked in in this direction and in this direction. Over there, I did two drive bolts. Here I've just got one. I might do a second one up here, but I haven't done that yet. And then up here, the deck boards do give it a little bit of rigidity, but most of the locking in is happening down here. Is that the right way? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good right there. We got the bird's nest in here, you know, keeping it all copacetic. All right, good. That's a canoe shit. Can all right, so that dude is locked in from two directions. Typically people have a break on their saw so the thing doesn't spin forever, but we don't really have one of those. Okay, that's the last one, right? Unless you want one better than the house and stair set. You in? Uh, so what you're looking at is the top plate and a 2x4 stiffener underneath. You know, if you don't do that, you get a little potential for the sag action. And we've done this a bunch of different ways over the years. Um, this is a 2x6 top plate, pressure treated. You can do a thin board. It doesn't need to be that big if you have the stiffener. But we're doing the big stuff just because this whole project's all about like dimensional lumber and stuff. We level all this stuff because the next level. <laughs> it actually grab it okay? Really good. You know, it's the cafe. Alright, so here's where we're at. We are just working this section next. And, you know, same process, just putting in the top pieces, the supports, and once we have all that, we can do cables. All right, so about these cables, we're doing simple screw eyes. I call them eyelets, but they call it screw eyes. Screw eyes at the terminal end of every run code is always this four inch thing you don't want to put a four inch orb like a little baby head a teeny little baby head four inches never even seen one of those four inch head can't fit through any railing that you build now you can get some fancy stuff look on amazon fancier than this all kinds of stainless steel bracketry and stuff but we're just doing eyelets you'll see how the cable works holes all the way down to the end where we'll, we will have more eyelets one run this way we'll have another run over there and we'll have another run over there.
And the hardware we're using on the wire is pretty simple. Uh, wire clamps, just to lock things in on the ends. You can do that with crimp uh, nuts also, but anyway, we use wire clamps. Uh, so we got the stair jacks cut and if you're doing a project like this you can buy stair jacks just don't feel like you got to make them you can buy them but you know we're a little on the cheap side so we made stair jacks stairs are going here i'm only showing you that because the stairs are getting the cable railing too and there's one thing that's kind of unconventional right here uh, instead of centering these eyelets on the post, we're doing them on the inside. This deck eventually is going to be a wrap around. We got to wrap around. Oh yeah, but we haven't done that yet. So right now we're not wrapping around. This section's kind of built so that we can take it out eventually. So don't pay too much attention over here. This is really like the way we want it to look is right through the center of these posts. It made it through and it ended up in the movie? Oh yeah. Oh my god. So it's like a well-known thing. <laughs> so just dropping the holes for uh, posts. I'm doing it this way here just because we have some unusual ground stuff and we got like plans in the future. Sometimes the way we do this and the way you might do it is to have a pad, lay a pad, pour a pad, a concrete pad, stone pad, something solid. Bring your stairs down to that pad. But here we're doing posts, big old six by six, buried in the ground three feet, and the whole stair system is going to attach to that. We had a hose bib over here, but we had deleted it for the uh, deck. So looks like Melissa's using the kitchen sink to get our concrete water. It's a thick mix. Hold it pretty fast. There's like a purple color, yeah. It's like purpley. Okay, I think it's gonna take two of us to. Okay. And when we're tensioning it up, it's all like hand tensioned, and then we just pop a vice grip on there to kind of hold it, and then I'll put my uh, nuts at the end just to lock it in. All right, so now we got it kind of roughed in uh, tension wise, and we're just gonna kind of hand tension it till we get the slack out of it. Right now, from the beginning? Almost. Let's do one more.
we're going with two by sixes for our treads. We've done this with deck boards before and different things, but we're going kind of beefy on this one. I think it's going to be good. And you'll see there's going to be like a little gap on each one. So when we're shoveling snow, we can push it this way or shove it underneath. I don't really like to shove it underneath, but we could. All right, so that's the last piece of cable railing. When you do this, put a really pretty newel cap on top of your newel posts. This is just a placeholder for us, just to keep the water out. We're gonna do something a little more decorative. You can see it is plated at the bottom, just because you gotta close up that gap. That way we're all under four for all these guys. All right, so that's it for the cable railing project. There's still a few little touches, a little sand and gravel, some fancy newel caps. I gotta cut those posts off still, but come on. You get the basic feel for what's going on. We got the most basic, simple cable railing. All right, that's it for our simple cable railing project. I've got a couple other like decks and railings and stuff videos here on the channel. I'll put a link to that stuff. You can check it out. But if you can do a cable railing, don't freak out. It's really simple. You can do it. All right, I'll check you in the next project. All right, if you can see this, the idea here is to slide through the deck boards and come down. Whoa. God, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my God. I thought that was the dog. <laughs> <laughs>